Hey, can you see me? That's me up there in the monitor. Hello. And I'm also right here in the studio, and I'm going to talk today about one of my favorite pieces of equipment. It's a piece of equipment, a production piece of equipment that I have used for years, and I have spent tens of thousands of hours working on it, and it's something I'm very comfortable with, and I also think it's something that's very significant uh, when you're trying to do presentations or any kind of news production. It's a critical part of our presentation process. And that is called a teleprompter. Now, there's different names for it. There, sometimes people refer to it based on the brand they own, and some brands are more popular than others. This is not to sell any particular brand. This is to talk to you about how the technology works. Now, when I'm sitting anchoring, uh, I'm going to be looking at a particular camera. And in this studio, there are three cameras. Uh, we have camera one is here, two is there, three is over here. And if I do a quick zoom in, let's look on camera two. There it is way over there. Let's see if I can zoom in closer. Digital zoom isn't very good, but there you go. So way in the distance, I can read the script that's on the screen. Now, uh, over to the, let's, oops, come on. Let's go back, let's zoom out. Over here, this is camera three, and you can see the script is there as well. And then again, on camera one, there's more script over there. Now, camera one, I've got something special going on over there, which I will explain to you in a moment. So when I'm anchoring, uh, depending on which way I'm told to look, I will look at one of these cameras and read the script off of the teleprompter. And you think, I just have memorized a ton of stuff. Now, sometimes when you're watching your favorite movie and shows, maybe soap operas is what comes to my mind, those actors have actually, in many cases, memorized the script. So they're not reading off any kind of uh, uh, visual assist, which is what this is. The teleprompter gives me the script. And that text will scroll as I read it. Uh, now, the prompter is very helpful in a new situation because... You're now reading scripts. You don't have to look down. You can you, you can create eye contact with the um, uh, with the camera by looking at the script. So how does it actually work? Let's have a quick look. And again, this isn't to sell any particular brand. Um, uh, the other thing, by the way, uh, that I mentioned, one of the reasons I like teleprompters is now are used. Uh, people use them as uh, portable assists. You can get systems that mount on field cameras. You can get free downloads for your phone that does like a teleprompter uh, on your phone, which is great, unbelievably fantastic. Now, politicians use them, and the way politicians use them is they'll have a prompter on, a, it's just a piece of glass, they don't have the big hood, but because there's no camera system, they'll have a piece of glass here and a piece of glass here. They're gonna have the teleprompter system set up so that they're reading the words off the um, the glass. So when they, hey, thanks for coming today, and they're reading the script right here, award shows, etc. A lot of people use the prompter. So what it is, it's this, this is just a basic computer monitor, and actually, oops, if you look, oh, hey, it's reversed. The words are actually reversed, because what's happening is the words are reversed. They bounce off of this mirror, this piece of glass, which then unreverses it, makes it readable, which is what the anchors read. Good day and welcome to the show. As they talk, the teleprompter operator will turn the, um, the prompter script and this will scroll up or down. This little chevron there, that's sort of the cue line. That's where you should sort of be reading. Chevron's like an arrow, whatever we call that little arrow thing. So that's kind of the read line. You're gonna try to read in about there. Um, and again, the hood, what the hood does is it gives a dark background so that the camera, it's very hard to see. Now, if we go over to camera one, oh, look, we can see through camera one because I've got this special, special setup for you for today. So when we look through the back, I took off the piece of metal, you can see the actual screen is clear. Look at that. I don't see any words. And that's what the camera sees. But around the front, what the host sees are, is the script. Now, see how... When there's the window open behind that let plate's missing, you can see through it. So I'm going to put that back on so that you get a nice dark background, which gives the, uh, the font. It stands out a bit more. You can change the font size and do other things with the font as well. We like a sans serif font. See how there's no, nothing hanging on the font. It's a very clean, easy, read, uh, easy to read font. Okay, so now uh, let's go into the control room. And I'm going to show you the other side of the system. And again, there's portable versions of this, but this is our studio-based system. Uh, again, not here to sell any particular brand. Uh, this one is made by Autoscript, uh, which we've been very happy with. Um, so what happens is we're going to bring our scripts into the the, the interface. Um, I can actually this is what's the, this is the basically a, a copy of what's out there in the studio. So uh, that's what the hosts are also seeing. 
and this window, this is my prompter window, which also is this. So I could actually run this system without this second monitor. And there's a little prompting button in our system here at the top. I click on that and th what's being sent out gets like it's now prompting nothing because I've turned the prompting off. So it's sending nothing to the studio. So let's prompt and that will now be showing on the camera outside. I could prompt by using this, uh, um, whatever, on camera or whatever, on screen controller uh, and the mouse. So I'm just using it with the mouse. Uh, me, eh, eh, whatever. I don't really like mouse control. Uh, I mean, I guess if it was touch screen, it would be helpful, but it's not. And so uh, we have this export, uh, X, whatever, outboard, I guess is the right word. Um, uh, piece of equipment. Um, this is a newer piece of uh, kit for us. Uh, the controller we used to have was different. I actually preferred the feel of the old one. It had a bit more weight to it. This one seems a little bit, a uh, bit more choppy to, not as easy to use in my mind, but that's my own personal opinion. Uh, and actually it's smooth. It's, it's sort of softened up a little bit. So maybe it's just, yeah, no, it just doesn't feel the same. But anyways, basically what happens is I'm going to turn the uh, prompter. You'll also notice here when I turn the prompter, the arrow, oh, look, it's going backwards. When I turn it this way, the arrow changes. So it tell, it's just telling me it's going forward. And then I'm just going to turn the prompter. Now I can set it and forget it. But really what I want to do is listen to what the person is saying. And I'll show you, give, give you an example of that. Um, so the prompt, uh, sorry, the prompter, uh, the province is working as fast as it can to repair highways, bridges, and rail lines in what some experts say could be the most expensive weather event in Canadian history. And what I'm doing is I am slowing down the prompter, uh, based on the read, right? So, uh, the other thing too, you'll see that we do with our scripts is we will write out the numbers. And if there's a, a name or something to uh, say someone's last name we need to pronounce, we'll have a, a pronouncer. So again, you can go back and forward with the teleprompter. Many residents are unable to return home as evacuation orders have been extended. The death toll from a mudslide. By the way, terrible story. Um, and uh, But anyways, this is... Uh, this is that BC uh, flooding. Uh, but this is this is why the prompter is helpful to us because this is important news. It allows us to get it out faster. And when people are reading off the teleprompter out in the studio, you're focused on the story as you should be and not the fact that the anchor is always looking down at scripts or notes. This way it's much cleaner and it's a much better way to communicate things. And again, I'm just using the controller up or down. This particular controller, I can jump to different stories. I can go back to the top of the order. Um, again, not a fan of this particular controller, uh, but the interface, the software is very good and uh, you can see how clear and easy that is to read. I can also change the size and the font right here as well. So, uh, so there you go. So that is kind of how the teleprompter works. Um, you can input it here, but we also have a network system. We use the iNews system, which then feeds the script from iNews into this system, and then we prompt out to here. So, um, yeah, it's become very popular. Uh, again, politicians have been using it for years. So if you see a couple of pieces of glass angle off to the right and to the left, that's the teleprompter at work. And there goes a mouse right across the studio floor. Uh, <laughs> wow, it's like an infestation. Anyways, uh, maybe the mouse came to prompt uh, with us. So anyways, there's our studio, uh, prompter one, prompter two, prompter three. And uh, thanks for watching today. As always, I'm Dr. Gary Gould. Have yourself a great evening. Take care.